Adams. I own an independent paper crafting business showcasing products from Stampin' Up. I made this gorgeous card with products from Stampin' Up. I sell these products and also a few items to make crafting more convenient. I have the free detailed directions for this project on my website. Click the links for these products to be taken to my online store. And there will also be a PayPal button for a card kit. You'll see where to find all of that at the end of this video, so don't worry about taking notes. It's time to put stamps, ink, and paper together. If you decide to buy the card kit, you will want to buy Borders Abound. This is a gorgeous stamp set. This is a stamp set that has four long borders and some beautiful greeting. And you'll need a basic gray stamp pad. I use the Ornate Frames dies for this piece and I will cut that for you for the card kit. And I also use the Parisian Flourish 3D embossing folder and I will emboss that for you in the card kit. But you might want to have those for yourself. My paper supplies are an envelope, a piece of four and a quarter by five and a half petal pink, a piece of two and three quarters by eight and a half petal pink scored at four and a quarter. I have a piece of Whisper White that is two and a half by four. A piece of Basic Gray that is one and a fourth by four and a quarter. A piece of Petal Pink that's one by four and a quarter. This piece of Petal Pink is two by three and a half and this is the one I'll cut that label out for you. And some of the gorgeous, gorgeous Peony Garden Designer Series paper. This is really three by four, cut in half. I absolutely love this Designer Series paper. This is one of my quarter sheet Designer Series paper samplers. And it's got all the information on the back. And you'll need some Stampin' Dimensionals. This will all be in the kit. And as I said, this will be embossed for you and this will be cut out. So let me do that right now. So I'm bringing in my die cutting machine and I'll do the embossing first so I do not need the thin die adapter. And I, on my machine, I don't need either of these clear plates. But I am lucky enough to already have the embossing plate that we sold last year to adapt the machine. Our new die cutting machine is coming out soon and so you will not need this blue one. If you don't have the blue plate, what you're going to use is a clear cutting plate and several layers of cardstock, maybe four or five pieces of cardstock to use as a shim. I'm making use of this pattern here. I'm actually going to be covering up this center piece. So I'm centering my strip close to the fold and centering it in that pattern. And I'll top it off with my plate. I think that this folder is very, very elegant and I just love it. Then I'm going to cut my petal pink piece. I am using the machine again. I do need the thin die adapter. I'm putting my clear plate on the thin die adapter and I am putting my die cutting side up and setting this on top and I just need to make sure there's no metal showing and putting my cut up plate on top and then I'll run it through. I found that the cutting side up on these detailed dies is really helpful. Another helpful tip is to keep your die brush foam pad in a stamp case. I do have the case inserts on the website and I'm using the die brush. of almost everything. I just have a couple of pieces here. And now we have the pieces as they'll come in the kit. So then we need to just put the designer series paper on either side of the card base. 
and I think that there is a right side up on the designer series paper so take a look at your flowers see if they look right side up to you I've got an eighth of an inch on the top and the bottom and the sides and next I want to stamp this and so I am bringing in my Stamparatus you could of course use a regular block if you'd like and what I have done is put my piece on this direction because I'm going to have a piece of cardstock hanging out the other end so I want to be sure and have a place for that to go and as you can see I've already stamped my base here so I'm going to just stamp it I have marked a little bit on either side of the stamp so I went about an eighth of an inch on either side of the design and I want to be sure I'm centered here so I've marked here and I could also mark it on this side and so now I can put my piece of cardstock in here lining it up ink my stamp and close and press and then I'm moving it over to this side getting it lined up press and I think that's a very elegant design and then I can just add this to my card base so it is going to be up against the top and the bottom of the card and that will cover up the edges of the designer series paper I can go ahead and put my Whisper White on the inside and this gets centered here. I'm putting the embossed strip on the basic gray. And then I'm putting the strip on the card and it should fit very nicely between the stamped borders. Oh, so elegant. Now I just need to stamp my thank you. Love the font on this. And this is going right in the middle of that label. And we'll add some dimensionals. And this just goes, I'm centering it actually right over that flower there. And that's it. I think this card is so elegant. Here is the web address for this project where you'll find the free detailed directions and links for the products I used. And you'll find a PayPal button to order the card kit you saw in this video. Under shop, you'll find products from Bev, frequent shopper points. If you click products from Bev, you'll find out how to share my Evernote notebook a completely searchable catalog of all the current products. And I have taggers. You can give a name to each one of those dies. I also have a cardstock sampler with all of the current Stampin' Up! colors. And if you've purchased one in the past, I have an updater with all the brand new in colors. And if you're getting one now, I have a backdater so you can get last year's in colors. And I have a fine tip glue pen replacement tips. So if your glue pen tip gets clogged, just swap it out. I have heavy duty reclosable bags. There are some for the six by six papers and some for the 12 by 12 papers. And you can get a bow maker from my friend Gidget. Under inspiration, you can scroll my projects. You can scroll through the basics. You'll learn what's special about Stampin' Up! Stamps. You can learn about our color families and all the wonderful products that come in the color families. Some ideas for 
coloring. There's information about cutting, including how I store my card bases and layers. If you're wondering about all of our new adhesives, there's all kinds of information about those and some of my favorite tools. Under getting organized, you'll find a link for my stamp case slips, product labels, large labels, case inserts, a lot of color tools, a practically free stamp pad storage solution, catalog tabs, a quick reference, and a wish list with a catalog index, basic toolkit to go, and a little compact desktop tool box. You can tour my craft space. Under color tools, you can make your own cardstock sampler with labels here. There's a DSP divider, and I have a new quarter sheet size and there's a quarter sheet size DSP sampler. I have lots of color charts. I have a sponge dauber case insert, color wheel, a color chart with autocorrect and RGB codes under sip together. If we ever get a chance to meet in home and craft together, you can find about my next classes. And you can find out how to join my team where you can save money or make money. Almost all of those resources are free. More organization means more time for crafting. Talk to you soon. Bye.